Hello students and teachers, so in this video lesson, we will apply the differentiation rules for exponential functions. So for question number one, we have y is equal to 2 e raised to x. So uh, we're going to remember the first rule of exponential. So we have if the given is e raised to x. So kapag kukunin natin yung derivative nito, Still, the answer is e raised to x. So, yun yung gagamitin natin sa number 1. So, y prime is equal to 2 times the derivative of e raised to x is equal to 2 times. So, the derivative of e raised to x still e raised to x. So, 2 times e raised to x the answer is 2e ra e raised to x. So, yun pa din yung sagot. Okay, for number 2, the given is y is equal to 5e raised to x plus 3x squared plus 4. So, for number 2, uh, this is the combination of the previous rules na ginagamit natin sa pagkuha ng derivatives. So, isa-isahin natin. So, y prime is equal to 5 times the derivative of e raised to x plus, okay, the derivative of 3x squared plus the derivative of 4. Okay, then 5 times, again, the derivative of e raised to x is still e raised to x. So, pwede natin ilagay ng ganyan, diretso. Plus, so what is the derivative of 3x squared? So that is 2 times 3, that is 6. And then copy the variable x. Babawasan natin yung exponent ng isa, so 1 na lang. So hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1. Plus, so that is 0. So, di ba yung derivative ng constant? The answer is 0. So therefore, the answer is 5e e raised to x plus 6x. So, this is the final answer. Okay, next. For number 3, the given is f of x is equal to 9x e raised to x. So, here, pwede natin gamitin yung product rule. So, yung product rule, di ba? First, okay, meron ito yung u natin at ito yung v. Okay, so, f prime of x Okay, let uh, u is the 9x and v is the e raised to x. I, yes. So, lagay natin u is equal to 9x and v is equal to e raised to x. So, para, para makuha no, yung derivative nito, we're going to apply the product rule. So, first, copy the value of u which is 9x. Then, i-multiply natin siya sa derivative ng no v, which is e raised to x. And then, kapag product rule, addition, yung operation na gagamitin natin. Plus, then copy natin yung value ng v, which is e raised to x. Then, i-multiply natin ito sa derivative ng u natin which is 9x. Okay. Then, simplify lang natin. Copy first 9x. So, we all know that the derivative of e raised to x is e raised, still e raised to x plus, okay, copy e raised to x times, okay, what is the derivative of 9x? So, that is 9. Diba? So, 9. Pwede natin ilagay yung 9 sa unahan. So, it will become, <clears throat> so since dito class, no, uh, meron silang common factor. Ano yung common factor nila? So, yung common factor nila is 9ex. Okay, so ayusin lang natin. So, we have 9, okay, xex plus 9ex. So, ito, common factor nila is yung 9 sa kayong ex. Ganon din dito. May ganon. 9ex. So, pwede natin i-factor yan. 
So, ilalabas natin yung common factor na 9e raised to x. So, kumbaga, itong lahat na ito, i-divide natin sa 9e raised to x. So, anong may iwan na lang? x na lang. Plus, so, kung ito, i-divide natin dito, so, that is 1. So, yun na yung sagot natin. So, f prime of x is equal to 9e raised to x times x plus 1. Okay, for number 4, we have g of x is equal to x over e raised to x. So, quotient rule naman ang gagamitin natin. Dun sa previous na practice exercises natin, nakapag-discuss tayo ng ilang parts ng video doon. So, pwede yung balikan yung rules ng quotient rule. So, dito naman, of course, okay, so yung u natin dito is yung x. Yung v natin is yung e raised to x. Okay, di ba pag quotient rule, paano yung ginagawa? V times, okay, the derivative ng u minus u times the derivative ng v. Okay, all over v squared. Okay, so ganyan. So now, let us proceed now. So g of g prime of x is equal to, so yung v natin is e raised to x, okay, e raised to x times the derivative of x, okay. And then, kung kanina, kapag product rule, addition yung ginagamit natin, operation, so kapag quotient rule naman, okay, pag nag-divide tayo, subtraction, so ima-minus natin, Minus sign yung gagamitin. Minus, so susundan na natin yung formula na to. Yung u natin, mas maganda lagyan nyo dito ng bracket. Kasi mag-change ng sign dito yung subtrain eh. So yung u natin is x times the derivative ng v, which is e raised to x. Okay. Simplify. So, e raised to x, we all know that the derivative of x is 1, okay, times e raised to x times 1, minus, okay, so copy x, then multiply natin si x kay, oh, what is the derivative of e raised to x, still e raised to x, okay. And then, e raised to x times 1 is e raised to x, and then, ah, okay, so nakalimutan natin class, yung denominator natin. Okay, so, again, so, brain muna natin. So, hindi ko napansin. Nakalimutan natin yung denominator natin. So, dapat yung denominator natin is V squared. Okay? So, dapat over, so, lahat ng ito, all over, so, yung V natin is E, raised to x squared. Okay. Then after that, saka yung ginawa natin kanina. So, e raised to x times 1 minus so, x times e raised to x all over e raised to x squared. And after that, so, this is e raised to x minus so, this one magiging x e raised to x over e raised to x squared. Or, ibig sabihin nito dalawa. Diba? No? Dalawang e raised to x. O, pwede ganyan. Or pwede rin ganito. Yung e raised to x. Tapos may power ka na to sa labas. So, since dito class, pwede natin i-factor to. Okay? Mapafactor natin to eh. Ano ang common sa uh, numerator natin, yung common factor sa numerator natin, e raised to x. So, ilalabas natin si e raised to x. So, e raised to x, divide e raised to x, that is 1. Diba? Uh, x, e x, divide e x. So, makakancel yung e x, ay e raised to x rather pala. So, maiiwan si 
x na lang. So, copy minus sign. So, 1 minus x. So, ito yung factor niya. And then, e raised to x times e raised to x. So, as you can see, class, may makakancel tayo ito. Makakancel natin yan. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is 1 minus x over e raised to x. So, that will be the final answer. So, g prime of x is equal to 1 minus x over e raised to x.